Good afternoon, everyone. The new frequent flyer CO2 tax has been unveiled. You'll have to pay an extra tax for each flight after you take your first one free flight per year globally. This is the new tax schedule scenario based on the first nine flights that you'll have to pay an additional 420 British pounds or 613 US dollars if you fly nine times a year as a tax in addition to the ticket price. They've relegated you down to nothing more than an emitter. They've divided everybody by equalized income distribution, by your employment status, by your household status. We're looking at $2 trillion worth of assets being stranded because of what the IPCC is doing in Paris. And after all these mitigation, the US Clean Power Plan, the EU 2020 plan, they're only going to stave off one one hundredth of a degree. You're now categorized as an emitter. Paris School of Economics, as well as Center for Analysis of Social Exclusion, have put out these two reports being issued to the Paris Climate Talks You've been broken down as an emitter on how much CO2 you produce based on your income. Those who earn the least amount of money on our planet. The mean is the mean average globally, meaning the middle class. The top, of course, is the top earners on the planet. Also being broken down is your household by CO2 emissions. Households with two people, single parent households. And thirdly, the breakdown on your greenhouse gas emissions, whether you have a full time job, self employed, unemployed, you are nothing but a CO2 emitting number. And that's what you have become. You're no longer a human being. The Paris School of Economics, with their report, Carbon and Inequality. From Kyoto to Paris breaks it down from the large into the small they go from the current per capita CO2 emissions by country then they break it into regional composition of top 10 middle 40 bottom 50 emitters depending on the part of the globe in which country and of course the distribution of the emitters so the United States EU you're getting extra special blame they are using such a divide and finger pointing conquer technique on this, it is almost head spinning. Going from the poorest in the UK on the left up to the wealthiest on the right, broken down by the consumables, how much CO2 you are emitting as a consumer. And you're being labeled and categorized as such. And this is what's being unveiled at the IPCC talks in Paris that you're not hearing about on the news. They would like you to pay an extra tax for each flight after you have your first tax-free flight globally. It will be on a tiered system. It's going to be called the Frequent Flyer Levy. It's based on CO2 emissions from aircraft and they look at it basically you are a cartoon categorized CO2 emitter with a number and with a status along with your CO2 emission profile. The 14th trip to Tuscany for a holiday compared to a one-time traveler of an adventure of a lifetime. And they ask the question, why are both of these taxed the same? So the solution that's come up has set forth a tax schedule scenario for your flying. Your first flight is free. Your second flight is going to cost you 20 British pounds as a tax in addition to the airline ticket. Your fifth flight, for example, you'll have to pay 210 British pounds or about 370 US dollars as a tax to get on that flight. Around your ninth flight, you'll have to start paying somewhere around 615 US dollars or 420 British pounds as a tax for CO2 emissions out of the aircraft. While all this is going on, if we take a look at the US Clean Power Plan and the EU 2020 policy, all of these cuts in the emissions and all of the economic devastation being wrought at this conference will only decrease the temperature 
by one one hundredth of a degree by 2100. The EU policy should have a two one hundredths of a degree effect. And even at the wildest temperature reductions, it's still only five one hundredths of a degree. And what will happen due to these new measures? Carbon Tracker does an interesting PDF, which I link below. Two trillion dollars stranded in assets, destroying investor confidence, as well as their literal bottom line. What will happen? The cost curve for liquid natural gas, LNG. The chart pegs the cubic meter at about 10 US dollars, but currently it is $2.12. So by 2035, if that indeed jumps to $45, that is literally a 20 fold increase on your energy prices. As well, the cost curve for seaborne coal, they peg it at $61 per ton. That's going to jump up to $150 by 2035. Thanks for tripling my electricity price on the raw material that goes in to feed those power plants. And this is all based on models that haven't worked from the beginning. 73 models out of 73 models for CO2 emissions that have not worked. And they're basing economic policy on this. That's just plain criminal. Yet these same models keep going again and again and again, decade after decade. And the observed temperatures, which you see at the bottom of the chart and the blue squares and the green circles, are the actual temperature readings, not only by satellite, but also ground measurements, compared to all the models above, which were the predictors of where the climate and the temperature were going, which are all incorrect, by a factor of 3 up to a factor of 20. Yet they still want to base policy in new global carbon taxes, raising our energy prices, raising the price of our life. And they haven't even gotten one climatic model right yet. I think the total was 90 models and two were semi-close. But those two are discounted because they're not close enough to the mean. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Wanted to give a quick shout out to David, our chef, for the Thanksgiving dinner the other night. It was an incredibly delicious meal with all of the possible fixings you could think of, from mashed potatoes to gravy to cranberries to pumpkin pie. And it's truly something special while you're out here in Asia during the holiday season to get this type of food. That means we'll have a carbon tax on our turkeys. If any sort of vehicle delivers that turkey from the farm to the store, there will be an emitter tax when you have your next Thanksgiving dinner. And eventually that will include every food that you put into your body, everything you drink, everything you wear, everywhere you go, will now have an additional carbon dioxide tax on it. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030, and I'll keep more stories like these coming to you.